you want to pop you bottles and chill with all the folk. Hang with all the models and all the centerfold. Show it off a body and watch her strike a pole. Trying to get beside me so she can get a hold of the mold. My Do I need to talk real loud or not? It doesn't matter. All right, cool. How's this volume for me? Is that good? <laughs> All right, good. All right, three, two, one. What's going on, Julian on the radio? Go wear hip hop. Uh, we're live right now at the Adidas store with the with the man. I, you know, I don't even know how to like introduce you. You know, like just can I just call you Bob? Bobby, call me Bobby Bobby Ray Rayman. Saw that. Yeah, what he said. There you go. <laughs> Album coming out, Strange Clouds. Strange Clouds. Call me Strange Clouds. Strange call, me May, call me May first. Strange Clouds. What he said, May first. Um, you know, let's just let's just get straight into it, man. Right, right. Album's got like a bunch of collaborations on it. Um, number one. How do you get like? How do you get so many people on the album? How about that? You know, like, like the first album, I didn't think I was gonna end up collaborating with the people I did, and the same thing happened with this album. And I don't know. I think it's just something that's just meant to happen. And maybe it's in my DNA or something. Yeah. I, I don't know. I just got collaboration written all in my album. <laughs> you got a favorite? I mean, I know that you probably like worked with all of them, but I mean, I was really excited to, to get Nicki Minaj on my album. I, uh, really excited. I <laughs> really excited about the Taylor Swift collaboration and. I really didn't think I was going to be able to work with these people, you yeah. know, and, you know, it's kind of crazy because we'll be in the studio cracking jokes like, <laughs> let's get Morgan Freeman on the album. <laughs> how does and someone so, like, how does someone like Taylor Swift, how does that even like come into play? I mean, it's, it's not like you're hanging out. It's crazy because it was, it happened, nat and that's why I like it because it happened naturally. It wasn't like the labels like, hey man, we need to get Taylor Swift feature. You know, it's really like she hit me up and invited me to come out on her, on her set. Really? And and uh, I couldn't make it because I was in I wasn't in Atlanta at the time. But she actually arranged for me to come to Dallas and, uh, and brought me out and I played her the song. She liked it and it just naturally happened. You know what I mean? And I feel like that's an element that that is that you don't see too much too often sure. in the industry. Yeah. So I, it's just glad that it happened naturally like that. Did she just see you? Like she? I don't, did she just? No, she, she hit. She you? she How's that work? I mean, she hit me up. I was like, hey, I'm in Atlanta. Yeah. And I didn't think she, I didn't think she was gonna like the song, yeah. but she loved it. So it came, it turned out tremendous. I think that's cool when an artist like yourself can cross over, because I feel like um, I don't know how to say, it, but I feel like a lot of artists might not even mess with that. Does that make sense? Yeah. Because of image or whatever you want to call it. Do you know yeah, what I'm saying? But you know, I feel like you know, it's really it's just about what you really feel comfortable doing as an artist and what what feels natural. It's gotta feel now. If it don't feel natural, right. it may not work. You know. So. Right. Is there anyone that you? Haven't you know you haven't worked with that you want to in the future? Bjork. I want to work with Bjork. What has she been doing? Bjork. I don't I, remember what she's been doing. Hopefully she's been waiting to collaborate with me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. Cool. Oh, by the way, congratulations on the Adidas deal. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. You now, can see. Are we allowed to talk about like? Aren't you supposed to be doing something with the Olympics or something like that? Yes. For Adidas? Yes. Yes. I am. We have something planned uh, over in London for yeah. the Olympics. It's gonna be quite a triumphant yeah. event. Quite epic. Performance. A lot of baton pa uh, passing going on. Cool. A lot of torch passing. I mean, nice, nice. Correction. Um, I also want to talk about the fact that, like, a lot of artists, I think, are like one-dimensional. You, I remember earlier you said, because I've interviewed before on the morning show, you said that you were more like a musician, correct? Yeah, definitely. You play your own instrument. But you know, it's crazy because I started out as an as a rapper who was like, I'm more than a rapper. I'm right. a musician. Right. And now I'm here, and I'm like, yeah, I'm still an MC. You know. Right. Kind of crossover. Grass is, grass is always greener. Right. Do you want the balance is the most important thing? Balance. I don't think a lot of artists have that, to be honest with you. Well, you know, it's a, it's, it's a tightrope sometimes, but you know, you can make that tightrope a sidewalk. Is there, is there anything is there anything that you uh, aspire to do? I mean, you're like, you're like what, 23? 23. All right. Is there anything you aspire to do now that you have not done? I mean, you've done, I mean, dude, I'm like, it's a little depressing, man. I'm like eight years older than you, and you. I'm not gonna do like half of what you did. I'm not gonna do like one thing out of what you did. Is there anything that you like? Do something that you aspire to do like five years, ten years? Everyone has like a game plan. You get what I'm saying? I, you know, for me, I really see myself digging just even deeper into music. You know, I, I feel like I. I won't get to places. Yeah. I can't. It's just. It's not in my blood. I just can't. I'm constantly up at night, like. When it's time to go to sleep, of course I get an idea in my head and I have to stay awake and try to ha hash it out, see what I can make of it. And you know, it's just, it's just uh, something that's just, that's just really just in my makeup. You know, I don't know, but um, I kind of see myself getting into music, into movies one day. Movies? Yeah, I can see that. I got another question for you, man. Um, I always, I, I always wanted to know, how do you guys? Do you think you need to be born with the skill to like rap? 
You know what I'm saying? Or is this something that can be learned? Like gotta just, everyone has a developmental process. Feel the rhythm. You gotta feel rhythm. If you can feel rhythm, then you can feel. You know, it's just the. It's, it's easy if you feel it. So if it just comes to you, you just start writing. Do you do it like when you're on tour? How's that? What, what what's the process for you? Always not when I'm in the studio. Yeah. The studio is just to record it, but I'm. It always comes. I mean, at the random in the bedroom. I mean. It, in the shower, <laughs> cool. it comes in the random places. Nice. That's where you come up with your best stuff. Crazy. Cool. B.O.B. Strange Clouds. Uh, get it right now. May first. May first. Strange Clouds. Make sure you download it. Follow me on Twitter at B.O.B. A.T.L. And until then, keep looking up. And you sir, go with hip hop. Yo, what's happening, y'all? This is B.O.B. Bobby Ray. And right now you were tuned into Go What Hip Hop. I go wherever hip hop goes, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm B.O.B. Bobby Ray. Strange Clouds comes out May 1st. Make sure you copy it. Stay tuned. No food in it, that's foolishness. And sometimes I wonder why we care so much about the way we look and the way we talk and the way we act and the clothes we bought. How much that costs? Does it even really matter? Cause if life is an uphill battle, we all trying to